three concerns that these clients are going to have. And we're going to talk about those today. Okay, so the first one, the first C is cost. Okay, how much does this particular plan cost me, whether it is zero dollars or if it's less than what I'm currently? So Juan, I'll start with you. Uh, in your sales experience, how has cost been a concern for clients that you've talked to? Always. Okay. It's one of their, their, I think it's, a lot of it has to do with uh, the price point, but, but cost is always a factor for anybody to make, the, to, to make that decision. Whether it, they can afford it or not, they're not gonna fully disclose it. It's our job to kind of build the value on that and show them the cost savings on that to uh, overcome the, the the fear of them feeling like they're purchasing something or adding something to what they already have, but the value of what you're going to provide to them can offset the cost. And yeah. um, so I, I just think uh, cost is just in everything that we do, whether yeah. you're shopping or buying a car or yeah. buying a house, even on Medicare. So yeah. And for a lot of these people, they're on like fixed income. That's right. So the cost is very important because yeah. it might not fit in their budget. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, a lot of times too, when we're talking about Medicare cost, they immediately see the cost. They see the price mm -hmm. and they're either going to balk at it or they're going to be concerned with it. And the thing about Medicare, especially with cost, uh, especially with price, is that, and, and you've probably had experience with this before in your own life or your family's life. When you are talking about cost, you're always concerned. You're like, how much is this going to fit my budget? Am I able to afford this? But what is the reality of that cost when it comes to Medicare? And that is, no matter what happens, if something happens to you that's bad, like, or a family member, you know, they get into a car accident, or, or something affects them where they have to go to the hospital, you will spend whatever it takes to save that person or to save yourself. Yeah. Right? Yep. You will drain, I mean, you're, you have a child, right? Mm -hmm. You will drain your savings to save your child's life if something tragic or catastrophic happens to you. Yep. Okay? And so when we start talking to clients, when clients start asking, oh, I'm worried about the cost, we have to understand that truth, that universal truth in all of us is that, yes, you're not going to bring this up. Yeah, well, this it might be more expensive than what you're currently paying, but you'll spend every dime to save your life or your family member's life, right? We don't want to bring that up. <laughs> but we do want to understand that when we're talking about cost, that is something that is very significant when it comes to how their uh, budget is going to be, okay? So we start learning about Medicare supplements. Medicare supplements, you have a premium that you have to pay monthly. And that can be a little bit overwhelming for people that are trying to budget. But when you start talking about Medicare supplements, you'll start to realize, oh, I would rather pay a premium a month than be bankrupt for bills mm -hmm. when going to the hospital. Okay? So when we start talking about costs, we'll start learning about how that we start building the value, which is very important. But we have to have them understand that when we get to the very end of the presentation, we start going through your script training. At the very end of the presentation, cost doesn't matter. And why do you think that is? I'll ask you, why do you think that is? Well, at the end of teaching the value, why does cost not matter? Build enough report, make it valuable enough that they're gonna want it no matter what because in the long run, they're gonna realize it's still saving them money. Right. Like you can't tell somebody, hey, you know, this surgery is gonna be $100,000 because they're not having surgery. But ask the people that had a $100,000 surgery, They'll know, like, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it takes up the majority of, like, here's a little fact that you can use in your sales pitch. Three-fourths of every bankruptcy, like all bankruptcies throughout the United States, three-fourths of them are medical-related, paying back medical bills. I mean, you know how Which expensive is very, it is. Yeah, I was going to say, just going to the emergency room is a couple thousand dollars, so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then when you start learning more about Medicare, you'll start to realize that yeah, you can be thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, uh, just real quick personal story. Uh, my son just was diagnosed with seizures. He doesn't have epilepsy yet, but he's had seizures in the past couple months. And the first seizure that he had was the end of May. He had it at school and they put him in the ambulance. 
Oh. Yeah. And so, my like, my daughter just went in the ambulance a couple months ago. So you know mm -hmm. how expensive an ambulance trip can be. Yes. We just started getting like this was in May. We're in October now. We just got the ambulance bill. Holy moly. It's like $8,000 if not more. Yeah, depending yeah, on the coverage. About six, six to $7,000. Yes, yes, it's very, very expensive. And with these people, especially Medicare, who may have fall, may fall or something may happen to them where they need an ambulance, you want to make sure that they're covered. Right. So yes, so to conclude, the first thing is their concern is always going to be cost. cost. Not the most important concern because we know that once we build the value, the cost is going to get out of the way.